we all love to hold on to our favorite skincare products, but sometimes they gotta go. Beauty editor Maria Del Russo is here to show us how long certain products should actually be kept around. Hi, Maria. How are you? So what exactly is breaking down in some of these skincare products? Well, what you have to remember is a lot of the skincare products that we use have active ingredients. So like a glycolic acid, salicylic acid, these are what make skincare products work. And when they what, they're very fragile. So when they're exposed to environmental factors like heat and oxygen, they start to break down. So you kind of really want to keep an eye on them because you want them working at their maximum potential so that you have clear, beautiful skin. Indeed, that is the point. So what are the first things that sort of hit that expiration date? So the first things that kind of hit the expiration date at two months are dark spot creams, peels, masks, anything that comes in a very tiny bottle. Uh -huh. They kind of um, package things to kind of last as long as they need to. These last about two to three months, but with these, it's kind of touch and go. So you okay. really want to make sure that you're checking your package because they'll usually have an expiration date on them. But for peels, masks, dark spot correcting creams, we say about two to three months. Is there anything you can do to make them last as long as possible? If you keep them in the fridge, they'll kind of last a little bit longer. And then the nice thing about that is when you actually apply them to your skin, they'll have this nice, cool, tingling feeling, oh, which yes. is beautiful. Added yes. benefit. Very nice. <laughs> Now what else, you know, kind of goes? So next you want to talk about your acne products. So anything that has that glycolic acid, that salicylic acid, that's really clearing up your acne. Those only last about four to six months. So you really want to keep an eye on those because that's the reason you're using them. If they start to break down, makes it less effective, you might as well just be working with soap and water. So you really want to keep an eye on those. Yeah, it's true. I mean, these things are bought with a sort of goal in mind. So if they're decomposing and not achieving the goal. Exactly. And the nice thing about this is that if you're using them regularly, they won't even last that long. Okay. So you'll kind of run out of them before they're even starting to decompose, which it's is true. good. Yeah. So then what can you kind of keep within the six month window? Yeah. So about a year is we have all these products. You have your toner, you have cleansers, sunscreens, and you have moisturizer. Now, the thing about moisturizer that you want to kind of keep into consideration is if you're going to get a moisturizer, pick something with a pump mm -hmm. because pumps are actually more hygienic. With jarred moisturizers, you're kind of dipping your fingers into them, which yeah. kind of contaminate them a little bit like quicker and it'll break down faster yeah. and it'll just make it the lifespan longer if you stick with the pump. Now, with sunscreens, where do we like to keep those? in our beach bag, in our car, and it's hot, mm -hmm. and it's sticky, and it's gross, and they'll start to break down. You'll be able to tell when they're separated. So what you want to remember with your sunscreen, take it out of the beach bag, store it in a cool, dark place, and they'll last a lot longer. Yeah, like the fridge could be an ideal spot for Exactly, you could put them in the fridge as well. Yeah. And then beyond that, for two years, you have your grainy scrubs. So anything that has a granule, sugar scrubs like that are really great. The problem with those is we keep them in the shower mm -hmm. and there's fluctuating temperatures and you keep it open, water gets in, like there's all these factors that can kind of break them down quicker. So what we say is when you're actually applying your scrub, turn off your shower, apply the scrub, open it up, get yourself all over, close it, and then rinse it off, turn your shower on again. Okay. And the cool thing about that is dry scrubbing when you're not soaking wet actually helps improve circulation. Just make sure you're still damp so you're not tearing anything, uh -huh. but it kind of makes a better scrub experience, if you will. Okay, this is a slightly more complicated routine, but probably worth it for the payoff. Exactly, because you'll have those big jars of scrubs that'll actually last longer, which yeah. will be good. Well, thanks so much, Maria. Of Great course. to know as summer rolls around. No problem. <laughs>